By the end of this video, you will know how to set up the two-player Shadow the Hedgehog co-op mod. You can either use the variant for the original game, or you can use 2P Reloaded, which is built for Reloaded 1.2. This mod version is version 2.5 for the 20th anniversary, recorded on 2025, September 5th. If you want to play the original game, you grab the two-player Shadow the Hedgehog version 2.5 zip, or if you plan to play two-player Reloaded, you're going to grab the 2P Reloaded version 2.5 zip. Otherwise, if you're downloading from the Sonic Hacking Contest page, it includes both in one zip. I'm just going to grab the one from the Sonic Hacking Contest for simplicity. While I'm here, I'm also going to grab this, which lets you play a Sonic or Omega over the yellow Android. And if you're on Windows 11, you'll be able to right-click the 7-zip that downloaded and say Extract All, or if you're on another OS, you'll need to get 7-zip or WinRAR. So grab Dolphin at dolphinmu.org. Download, and 2506A is the latest version at time of recording. I'm going to grab that. Make sure you're not using 5.0 Stable, this will not work with the mod. I'm going to Extract Dolphin. And in this Dolphin folder, I'm going to create a new text file and call it portable.txt. What this does is isolates your configuration. I'm going to open up Dolphin. And you'll see when I did that, a new user folder was created. Your original game is in RBZ format, which you can check by right-clicking the columns up here and then choosing File Format. If it says RBZ here, you need to convert this to ISO first. You can actually use Dolphin to do this. Just right-click the game, choose Convert File, make sure it's set to ISO, and hit Convert then save. This ISO file is the one you'll use with the Xdelta patcher, not the RVZ file. To verify you have the right game, right-click, go to Properties, go to the Verify tab, and then Verify Integrity. As long as the CRC32 and SHA-1 match on the How to Play Setup ROM validation screen, you should be good to go. Keep in mind though, RVZs will show the correct value, you still need to convert it to ISO. Once you've extracted the main download, you're going to choose which variant you want, so in this case I'm going to build the two-player reloaded one first. And you'll see right here there's a warning that says, hey, dependency linked to reloaded, because this version you actually need to patch reloaded 1.2, not the original game. This will bring you to the Sonic Hacking Contest page, but you can also go to the GitHub or Game Banana. Once you've downloaded Shadow Reloaded 1.2, the only file you'll need from here is this xdelta, you can delete the rest. You're going to patch your original Shadow the Hedgehog ISO with this first, and then you're going to patch the output of that with the 2-player reloaded patches. Inside 2-player reloaded, there's a link to an xdelta patcher, but you can use any of your choice. Now we need to choose the original Shadow the Hedgehog ISO, NTSU. I have it on my desktop, so I'm picking it. Then the patch file, we select Reloaded 1.2. Make sure you pick the widescreen edition of 1.2. Apply patch. Once this is done, we need to select the output as the new source file. So it's going to appear in your downloads folder like this. And now we pick the variant of the two-player Shadow Reloaded that we want to play. To open the two-player Reloaded version 2.5 folder, open up patches. If you're going to play on console and Nintendo, you have to use one of these two. Or if you're going to play on PC, use one of these two. I highly recommend just playing with the widescreen variant, unless you have a reason to use the original aspect ratio. Supply patch. This is a bit misleading, but as you can see, this is the patched version here. So we effectively patch something once and then we patch something twice. So this patch patch output here, this is the final version. And now we're going to rename this to two player reloaded version 2.5. So that is the ISO we will actually play with. We can delete the other one unless you plan to. Technically, this is reloaded version 1.2, single player widescreen. The key difference for two player reloaded, you're patching the 1.2 reloaded widescreen version, and if you're playing the original version of two player Shadow the Hedgehog, you're patching the original game. Now I finished creating the two player Shadow the Hedgehog original game, and I'm just gonna call it two player Shadow 2.5. All right, so we finished patching the game. At this point, the only thing you need to worry about is this dolphin folder. I open it up here, and this dolphin configuration required, you're gonna open this up, and you're gonna copy these two to your dolphin user folder. And now you're gonna go file, open user folder. This dolphin user folder that popped up is where we're going to copy the two required folders. So I'm going to grab them both. I can either cut or copy. In the folder itself is where you're going to paste. So not on any of these folders, just pick some empty space or like pick slightly to the right or below it and then click paste. Additionally, if you want the 100% save file, that's what this other folder is. And same thing, you just bring it into this folder. Similarly, for the original version, the dolphin folder, there's just one save file with the keys included and one file with the keys not included, but everything else is unlocked. Same deal here though, you just grab these two folders and you move them to that dolphin user folder. Choose the directory where you built your patched ISOs. And if everything went well, you'll see it like this. If it doesn't look right, go to view and say purge gameless cache. If it still doesn't look right, something probably went wrong. There's a few things to do before we can launch the game. Go to config, enable cheats. Go to Advanced, turn on an emulated CPU clock override. I recommend at least 150%, but if your computer's powerful enough, try to do around 300%. Just experiment, see if it's working well and stable. We'll get back into this in a moment. Go to Graphics, 
Pick your graphics card, change your backend to Vulkan or Direct 3D11. Under Advanced, turn on Show FPS. Turn on Load Custom Textures and Prefetch Custom Textures. Enable Graphics Mods. Other than that, don't forget to configure your controllers for both players. You can right-click either game, go to Properties, go to Gecko Codes, and you can customize as you wish. If you want to play with the horizontal split screen, for example, you turn these two off and turn these on. These two are also recommended when playing in the horizontal split screen mode. There's some codes here if you want to customize the experience, the Graphics Mods tab, and then enable Native Resolution Bloom. For Shadow the Hedgehog, Bloom Removal Code built-in does not work. There's a separate Gecko code if you want no Bloom. Do not use this, you'll get explosions on your screen. If you want to play at a higher resolution, you can do this by going to Graphics, Enhancements, and choosing 3x Native or one of the other options. I personally only use 3x Native. If you're on a 16x9 display and you notice these black bars, you can get rid of them in two ways. You can go to Graphics, Advanced, and enable Crop, which will create a slightly zoomed in image, or you can leave Crop off, go to Enhancements, and and enable widescreen hack. You might not see anything change because you first need to go to general and choose stretch to window. Keep in mind this will offset some UI elements slightly. Blow it into a stage to make sure it's working. With one player at the start of Glyphic Canyon and one player at the area where Knuckles is, you should see your FPS value fluctuate a bit. This is where you can go to your config, advance, and adjust this until you find a stable 60 FPS for your CPU. As you can see if I'm doing 150, I get about 45 FPS. Now I'm going to show you how you can play as Sonic or Omega over Yellow Android. So I'm going to actually use the reloaded variant here. Properties, go to the File System tab, click Disk, then right click and say Extract Entire Disk. Make a new folder for this, I'm going to put it on my desktop and get whatever you want. Close this, go back to Config, Paths, Add, go to where you just created that new folder, go to the Sys folder, and select that folder. You'll see this new zero file size game, this one is the extracted game, you can actually run this directly but we haven't replaced anything yet. So I'm going to open up that containing folder go to the files directory, go to character, and these are the files in here. We're going to replace one of these. Let me go back to that download, and I'm going to extract that extra download, which contained the Sonic and Omega. These are also available in the character mods repo. So I'm going to grab Sonic, and grab this file, and replace it over here. I'm done. I can now launch this extracted game, but don't forget to enable the MTP codes, otherwise it will just crash and not work. So I'm going to go down here, Turn on Crash Fix, turn on the actual override, and now for Sonic I'm going to do this and the No Shoes. Now when I launch the game, you can see that the color ball is working as expected. Looks good to me, and Shadow has his normal jump ball. Lastly, if you're planning to play on console, open the Nintendo folder and this root of USB or SD folder, and you're going to copy these two folders to your USB or SD card you use with Nintendo. Just don't forget to open up this folder and place the game.iso, remember it has to be named game.iso per Nintendo. And this GCT is the default vertical split screen. If you want to build a slightly different experience, say you want to use horizontal, there's some pre-built GCTs already built here. One's for the original aspect version of the game and one's for widescreen. Other than that, for Nintendo, the only versions that will work are the ones that are console compatible, so make sure you had used those patches.